If you have been using Notebook LM, you already know how powerful it can be when it comes to generating insights and organizing your notes. But what if you're looking for something that fits your needs even better? Maybe, I don't know, you need a tool with more features, a simpler interface, or just something that aligns more closely with your workflow. And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. In this video, I'm going to share three potentially outstanding alternatives to Notebook LM. These tools offer unique features that might make them the perfect upgrade for anything related to note-taking and insight generation. Alternatively, they might just suck. To be honest, I haven't really tested these yet. I haven't generated anything in them. So it will be the first time me going through these tools and seeing if they're able to live up to the expectations that they set themselves. Essentially, whether you're a student, a professional, or a content creator, these alternatives might be worth considering. So the plan here is that I'll walk you through the highlights of these three alternatives and explain why they might be a better fit than Notebook LM. So by the end, you'll be able to have a clear idea of which tools better suit your needs. Let's get started. The first tool I'm going to mention is called Newswise. And we go to their homepage here, which I can open up here so it doesn't interfere with the logged in version. They say, read between the lines. You can read, write, research, and create in one frictionless space. Boost your research 10 times with instant, reliable answers with citations. 100% private. And Newswise is your research search engine grounded in the personal information you trust the most. You imagine to be beyond. So this is the first product. There's the basic, there's the essential, the professional, and the enterprise. Even on the basic, you can have unlimited searches, notes, and uploads. So looks pretty promising. So once you log in to Newswise, you get this quick tutorial, I guess. Welcome to Newswise. Choose what the best describes you. Whatever high school, area of interest. Can I just skip this? No, I can't. Your age. How did you hear about uh, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Next. Next. All right. This project has no sources. So um, here, I don't know what I did, but that just closed. I immediately see the resemblance between Notebook LM and the interface that we get right here. We can get different sources in this case. It can be either uploading images and documents, going through your library, books, ascending from books, which is pretty interesting, and scholars, ascending from articles and papers. So here we get access to different books. So I know. Let's see if we can get Think and Grow Rich. No. So I'm not sure where these books come from, but let's, I know. Um, Business. Business communication, performance through time overview. So it looks like there are a few books, but I'm not really sure where these might have come from. So let's try and entrepreneur. That is spelled correctly. Yep. So as you can see, there is nothing that comes up under entrepreneur. What about scholars? Determinations of hotels and restaurants, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship. So yeah, uh, potentially I wouldn't trust the sources of that, but let's say that we're able to find think and grow rich PDF. Let's see. So that looks like potentially it's the whole book. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can add a URL here. Attach. Okay, so we can't add a URL. So what I'm going to do is download that and then see if I can drag it uh, here. Okay, apparently I need to attach it. So anyway, this is processing. Click on the hourglass to check the status. So this is processing 
in the book. Okay, so I would say that books and scholars seem to be pretty useless at this stage for my specific purpose. So you can also connect your Google Drive or just attach stuff there. So let's give this some time to process. The second tool I wanted to explore is this vadu.tv or vadu AI, which is kind of weird because the extension is .tv and then there is .ai. Why I or why this caught my attention is because if you go at the bottom here and you search for notebook LM and you open up this page, this is the page you get notebook LM, Google AI powered podcast generator. And then you have a quick description along with get alternative. And you, if, if you hit get alternative, you're immediately taken to the login page for this too. So I went ahead, I logged in, and I saw this AI podcast. So here I can enter a page URL. I can upload the PDF. So let's make this equal. So I'm going to upload the Think and Grow Rich podcast um, ebook. And I can generate a podcast with an estimated cost of 50 credits. So this might be where we run into issues. Let's see if we're able to generate that. So we have different. The sun rises in the east voices, and sets in the west. Which is something that no. It is not so important to know everything as to it be. Interesting. Our distrust is very expensive. Okay, so I need access to premium voice. I need to upgrade to go with premium voices. I'm not sure how many credits I get, though, so I'm, I don't know if I'm able to generate anything. Anyway, guest name, Kevin, duration, one to two minutes. So as you can see, if I went to seven to ten minutes, that six sexed my credits. And select the required voices. So is this premium voice as well? Okay. So which are the non-premium voices? All accents, all ages, all genders. Okay, so apparently the first one. Yeah, I don't know how you would know which are premium and which aren't. Let's try this again. So upload the file. One file selected. Apollyon is the first one. Kevin is the second. And generate. Let's see what happens there. In the meantime, let's go back here. This is still... Okay, perfect. So this seems to have processed. I can open up this in the sidebar. Perfect. And I can also ask it questions. So how does Napoleon Hill define a desire? So searching one source. Okay, great. So at the moment, I don't see the ability to generate a podcast from this. It can read aloud. Napoleon Hill defies a powerful and essential driving force in the pursuit of success. He emphasizes that everything man creates or acquires begins in the form of desire. This initial desire... But potentially it can't create a podcast. So, yeah. So here we have the Vadu AI and we have the script. So welcome back. We're going to dive into the Timeless Classic. We have the different people and what they will be saying. So this is interesting. You can change and change the whole. So anything in the script that you don't like, you can go through and then you can, yeah, you can edit. But then to actually generate the podcast, you need to upgrade or buy credits. So this starts at dollars per month the third one is called the talk show so um think and grow rich so apparently you need access to your you need to give access to your microphone and now it's listening for my response all right that's fascinating kevin uh how did you first discover think and grow rich like where did that journey begin for you? Well, when I started getting into entrepreneurship, it was one of the books I was recommended to read. But what can you tell me about the book? What is it all about? 
oh, Kevin, it's a classic. Uh, basically, it's about mm, the power of the mind in achieving wealth and success. Napoleon Hill, the author, he uh, interviewed like hundreds of successful people to uncover their secrets. What mm, principles from the book have you applied in your entrepreneurial journey? I've actually forgotten what the principles are all about. Could you remind me? Sure thing, Kevin. Uh, the book's core mm, principles include uh, desire, faith, special. Well, Kevin, that's all the time we have today. Uh, we dove into Think and Grow Rich, talked about uh, the power of the mind in entrepreneurship and those key principles. Thanks for mm, sharing your insight with us. Until next time. Okay, so as you can see, you're able to have a conversation with it. So it's nothing that ChatGPT can't technically do. I didn't have to include this source. So it uses its knowledge base in order to come up with the source when I said Think and Grow Rich. And here I also copied the URL. So you can share the thing yesterday. And now it's That's fascinating, Kevin. Right. Uh, how you can share the conversation with other people as well. Think rich or cry trying. Yeah, not quite, but anyway, you get the point. So you can have a conversation with it. So it's not really creating a podcast for you. So the one that got to be the closest seems to be this Vadu AI, but you can't really try it unless you go for a paid plan. So that is one thing that you might want to consider. So essentially, in this video, you've seen these three alternatives. And to be fair, they're not really alternatives. In my opinion, Google, L um, Google and Notebook LM are still the best that there is out there when it comes to creating podcasts. While there are plenty of options that could potentially replace or even complement Notebook LM in the future, and each tool does bring something unique to the table. But as of now, I don't think that there is a direct competitor that can do what Notebook LM can actually do with its enhanced features, with asking questions while the interviewers or the podcasters are having their chat. So there's a lot that Notebook LM can offer. At the same time, and with that said, things, as cliche as now this might sound, and as cliche as it is, this is the worst that all these tools will ever be. So it's good to keep an eye out on these tools, on integrations, and always think about how you can combine this into your existing workflows. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you have any tools that you've explored, anything related to Notebook LM and potentially tools that are at the same level or even better, I'd love to get your thoughts on them as well. In the meantime, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to learn how you can use AI and automation in your business, check out the links in the description for more information on that. I'll speak to you soon.